but I had a great idea and I thought, oh, I gotta use this. I gotta do this now while it's in my head. So this is a Tim Hortons coffee can. If you're Canadian, you recognize this. If you're American, you might recognize this. Any, can, any coffee can is gonna do. I just buy the jumbos because this is one of my coffees of choice. Although when I'm in the States, I love the uh, donut shop coffee. That's my favorite. Hey, welcome, welcome. So I'm gonna make something with this coffee can, Tim Hortons, and a printable that's um, currently in my Etsy shop. So hopefully you're seeing a link at the bottom. If not, um, I will put a link in here later after the fact, but it's etsy.com slash shop slash crafter downloads. Okay, that's my Etsy shop. Because Farmhouse Craftaholics is too long for the Etsy name. <laughs> One letter, too long. So you gotta get creative, right? So I'm gonna use these. I've used this on, um, actually, I've used this. They're perfectly sized for these. Now, if you go to the Etsy store, you get these two plus two more pages of printables. So you get three pages of printables and a video tutorial on how to do this, okay? And it's uh, these are Dollar Tree, so they're perfectly sized for that. Just so you can look at the lighting there. They're perfectly sized for that, so you can definitely put them on there. And let me show you what else I did with them recently. In my craft club, I added one to a mason jar, like a frosted mason jar, and it turned out really cute too. So there's lots you can do with them, right? So I was looking at my coffee can and thinking, I hate to keep throwing these things away. You know, I don't want to waste them, so what can I do? So let me show you. First of all, my coffee can is not made of metal. I was surprised to find out. <laughs> that, don't you love my thing? That's, oh, oh my God. I have uh, these, and my coffee can is actually cardboard, okay? So I could leave that on if I wanted to. I'm not gonna paint this, okay? I am gonna do something kind of funky with the lid. You're probably gonna think I've lost my mind, but I don't wanna paint on plastic. Let's find out if this is going to work, right? So I'm just going to take my lid and before I do that, I want to measure in here, that circle, because I've got a bit of a ridge there. Can you see that? So I'm going to color this, but I want to put something else on here. Not the printable, although it would fit, okay, it would fit on there, but I want to measure it. So I'm going to just grab a piece of paper. I'm going to put it down and I'm going to use my finger to just push. You see this? Let's pull this back. Push this down right along the edge. Use your nail. Right? Get your finger in there. Use your hands, girls. This is what, what crafting is all about. It's a handing, it's a sport for hands, right? And then look, you can see it's kind of, let me see if the lighting can show this. It's kind of marked it. Or the coffee, sorry, the coffee what? Oh, hang on, I gotta put my glasses on, I can't read that. Victor Allen brand, I don't know. Uh, Donut Shop is the name of it. Um, someday I'll show you guys. But I love the little pods, but I hate the waste, right? And I would love to be able to get it just in a bag or beans, beans would be fine, and I'd grind them. So I'm gonna trim this just along the outside, and this is gonna give me pretty good uh, template, all right? Now, I probably should have done this in like cardstock, which you could, right? But I just want to use this as a template a little later, so I'm gonna make sure this fits first before I cut my fancy stuff, which is not really that fancy at all. All right, so it's pretty good. Looks like a good fit, pretty close, okay? Oh, the coffee can I have is Tim Hortons. Yeah, it's the Canadian brand, right? It's like our favorite, famous coffee shop. But the one I'm looking for that I have a hard time getting is Donut Shop Coffee, which I love. And I always get it when I'm in the States, but not in the bags or the beans, which is what I'm really looking for. They come in the little pods. And while those are nice, you know, um, it seems a bit wasteful for, to, to me sometimes, right? Especially if I'm just drinking coffee at home. All right. So I've got that, so I have a basic template to fit in there. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut some of this Dollar Tree Buffalo plaid to go in there in a circle. And this is a vinyl, you know, for the vinyl cutting machines, you can buy it at the Dollar Tree. This is a buck 25 in Canada. And it's, um, I don't know how many feet it is. 
I used it already on a pizza pan. It is 48 inches long and 12 inches wide, okay? And this is what it looks like. So, all right, it's kind of shiny. It's a bit plasticky, right? So I'm gonna be cutting that in a minute. That's the plan. But right now, I want this to be black and I know paint's not gonna last, right? Although you could paint it, I'm gonna try a marker. <laughs> Let's just see if that does the trick. So I'm going to paint with the marker and then I'm going to let that dry while I do the next part. This may or may not work, right? I mean, it's coloring it. There's no question about that. I'm getting in there. This is a Sharpie, permanent marker. And I'm going to go. Hope that doesn't drive you crazy, guys. All right. I'm just not sure how long this is going to last, but I have a feeling it's going to do a better job than just regular craft paint. Painting on plastic, you could spray paint this. I just thought of this idea this morning. Don't have any black spray paint. Didn't want to bother with spray paint in my craft room because it's getting cold out there and I'm um, uh, keeping the doors closed. So the ventilation in my craft room is normal, right? but not great for spray stuff. I'm not a big fan of spray stuff. I will use it, and I do more in the summer when I can go outside and spray things down. So see, I'm just coloring that. I just want it to be black, okay? If your lid is black, I think the Folgers can might be, uh, you're way ahead, okay? Yeah. Let's see if this is going to get all over me. anybody has a good way of painting plastic where it sticks. The problem with plastic is it doesn't want to stick. It's like painting on glass, right? Other than spray paint, all right, let me know because I would love to try it and find a good solution for painting on plastic. So you notice I'm not doing the middle because I'm going to cut something out and put it in there so I don't bother with this. This is just my Ingenious, creative, let's find out way of seeing if this marker will hold up. The beautiful thing is, if it doesn't hold up too well when it's being used, you can always just touch it back up with the marker, right? So just don't let that get too far away from you. I think I picked these, yeah, Sharpie King size, I don't know, dollar store? Or, oh, no, my husband got me a bunch of these for Christmas last year <laughs> for my stocking. We go a little, uh, we have fun doing the stockings. And he likes to go into the dollar store and grab me all kinds of things like this. All right, so that's black, right? It was brown. Let's see if I can see. It's probably not perfect. And neither am I, and I'm okay with that. I'm not sure how long this will last. I'm just gonna let that sit there and dry while we do the rest, okay? So I think I'm done with that now. But like I say, now once that's dry and I get this done, it's a little messy, um, you're gonna find you can touch it back up with your Sharpie later, all right? Now you're probably not gonna believe what I'm gonna do with these things, but that's the fun of it. I love this stuff because it's easy to uh, measure, right? Because <laughs> it's got all these beautiful straight lines, right? So I'm just measuring. Let's see now. How far around do we want to go? And it's like cutting gift wrap. I want to do the whole outside of that, right? So I'm gonna just cut this slightly bigger right now so I can trim it down a little bit more in a minute. Right now I just wanna get rough cut off the roll. There's that end. I was like, where is that end? It's never coming. All right, All right so we've got that. And it's it's adhesive backed. It has a, a adhesive on the back. It's it's vinyl for the cutting machine. So if you've got vinyl for a cutting machine, 
It's not just for cutting machines, ladies. So I like that. I'm going to... This is just slightly smaller. I'm going to look at it again. I want it to sit between those two. Get that, snug that right up to the bottom there. It's got a bit of a lip. Now I'm going to use my nail again and just kind of mark out how much needs to come off. And I'll just follow that along. Keep that. All right, so we've got a pretty good idea now. It's not going to be perfect, and that lid's going to go over that edge, right? So it's pretty close. So it's just like a smidge above the black line. I'll just do that all the way along. Tim Hortons candy. You're not going to believe why I'm doing this, okay? So I like to take, make that straight first. I like to just pull, pull it apart a little bit, okay? And cut off a tiny bit of the end so I can just stick that without having the whole thing be all sticky on me. I'm going to cut just like this much off of the, the backing, see that, so that I can get this on here without losing my marbles. Not that that would ever happen, guys. Okay, so I'm going to get it going straight, so you see it's on there now, and it's just that little bit of sticky, right? And then I can start to pull this away. See if I can do it while you're watching. Pull this away and work my way around slowly. See how my hand is under here and I'm just pulling this slowly and just oh, look at this. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just do this. It seems to be working. Oh, oh no, it's okay. All right. So far, so good. And if it's not quite right, you can pull it back up again looks like. All right. Oops. Hey, come back here. Did anybody ever make, um, we made these fire cans in brownies when I was a girl and they basically took an old tobacco can. Remember those? And, um, we filled it with, um, oh my goodness. What was it? Baking soda. There we go. All right. <laughs> Voila. Now this is not perfect. You can go a little slower. Take your time. You can push some of the wrinkles out if you get any. You can just, or you can put them in the back, right? So there's a million ways to do things. So this is, there we go. So far so good, right? Like that's pretty easy, right? So can you, you can do that. So this stuff, like I say, Dollar Tree, right? And they come in all kinds of colors. You don't have to do this. So if black and white's not your thing, cool. Grab, there's col there's metallics, there's all different colors, and, uh, different patterns and things. So you just do the one that you that makes your little, your heart happy, right? So now I didn't get it quite right on the back. So I'm just gonna put that in the back. And yes, it would work on a tin can. Of course it would. As long as it's flat, if it's got the little ridges, uh, it's going to be a little bit trickier, right? You know, the, the tin cans often have those little kind of nice ridges, like they're great for crafting, but I think it would be tricky for this, all right? So now, let's see how dry this guy is. We'll put that up there. Seems good, right? It seems to be holding up. All right, we're good to go. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to cut myself another piece of the buffalo plaid in that shape. So it might have been good to use cardstock. The reason I did it this way is because there's a ridge. If yours is flat, you can just do the whole thing, right? Okay? Um, if that's what you want to do. But mine is not. Mine's got a ridge on it, so I'm just going to keep it inside that ridge. All right? So that's why I made the template. Let's see if you can see this. 
this why I made this there, right? Oh, it fits in there. It's not perfect. It's okay. I'm not perfect, and I'm okay with that, and I'm sure you should be okay with you not being perfect either, right? Let me just... Uh... All right, so I'm going to take my template. Let's see if pen will work. Yeah, pen works, okay? And I'm just going to trace around it with the pen. And again, you can take some time to measure things and all that, right? So definitely the pen marked it. Can you see that? There we go. Perfect. Let's trim just on inside of that pen, okay? Because that was just outside of what the template size was. So I'm going to trim this. go nice little circle right gonna fit in there voila see that okay so so far so good so here's what I do here same sort of idea as what I did on here all right I like to peel back first make sure it fits if it's not quite right I do your adjustments and stuff like that all right I'm gonna peel this back just a little bit and cut a smidge off the end of the paper, not the plastic, not the uh, adhesive side. Okay, so I see that. Can you see I've cut paper off, but I've left the adhesive side. It's still a circle, but now I can place that pretty easily onto my center where I want it. Make sure it's fit just right and sitting just right. Stick that one little bit that I had on there. Okay, now this part, you just flip it over now. You can pull this off and keep it kind of laying down flat like this. And you can see it's starting to lay down <laughs> on the lid. So we've got that done, right? Now, again, it's not perfect, right? I'm not perfect. Um, you can do better than this, but I'm just doing a quick idea and getting it out there for you. This is going to go on there, all right, like that. So now your coffee can looks like this, which I think looks pretty good, right? I'm pretty happy with that. So, but to zhuzh it up for Christmas, let's use a printable. So like I said, you can find these in the Etsy shop, right? Or if you're a member of the channel membership, which is the Crafters Club, I just dropped this in the Facebook group and in the Searchy Hub for free for you today. Um, it's Freebie Friday, so there's a printable. There's two printables, this one and this one. This one and the freebie that normally comes out every Friday. So you're getting this. If you go to the Etsy shop, you get this plus two more pages of printables and a video tutorial on how to do this one exactly. And then save this one, right? Just save this video because then you can do this too. You can print this off as many times as you want. I'm going to trim this out. This is just regular paper and I think I'm going to decide I think I'm going to go with Christmas at the Coop. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. I'm just going to trim around about a mm, sixteenth of an inch away from... We'll have a look. You want the Santa one? Maybe you could make cookies for Santa. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be a good cookie jar. It's not what I'm doing, but that would be a good cookie jar, right? You could give that to your neighbors, people you love. I, yeah, that would be a good idea. Never thought of that until just now. That is how my brain works, right? It's like, oh, what can we do with that? What, what does that look like? What can we do with that? That's the creative side for me. So how many ways can I use something? And I love figuring out, like, tell me other ways you could use that jar, okay? Or this. It would be a great little gift, uh, put a gift inside for Christmas, right? If you want to do that. Definitely you could do that. Um, I'm just trying to, tr I'm trying to trim nicely while I chat. <laughs> it's kind of hard because I'm doing this and doing that. Um, 
All right, so. Oh, let's talk about the channel membership. It's called the Craft Club. It is my paid membership. Every Thursday at 2, I go live and do a craft for specifically for them. Somebody was asking me about flocking the DIY, the Dollar Tree Christmas trees, and I've done that in my channel membership, so I'm not going to be doing that here on my page, right? Because my channel membership gets exclusive content. So every Thursday, they get uh, a new video. Every Friday, they get a freebie printable, or two, like today, they got two. Um, what else do we have? We have a free, not a free, we have a private Facebook group where they can ask me questions about anything and I will answer all that I can um, personally. What else? What do we have? Oh, there's no ads on any of my videos in there, right? Like they have a special website that they can, it's fully searchable, it's all organized. Every video I have is in there with transcriptions and they can search through that and uh, also there's no ads. So they don't get stopped for ads. They just can watch the video. They can fast forward, rewind, all that. There we go. All right. Okay, so I think that's pretty cute. All righty. We are getting there, guys. You're just not going to believe what this is going to be when I'm finished with it. All right. I bet you don't know. I bet you are. All right, so I want to put that basically on there. All right. Now... Here's a little trick to keep a rolling thing from rolling around when you're trying to do it. I just take a towel, or in this case, my apron, and I just roll it up a little bit on each side, right? I don't usually do this with a towel, and I'll put this in there, and then it doesn't like to, it won't roll around, so I can put it like where I want it. So I want this to be the back because I noticed I didn't get it quite right on the back. You'll do better, but here I am doing it live, right? So I'm gonna grab this, right, that I've just printed out, just regular paper, right? And because I used ink uh, jet, I'm gonna recommend that you um, use a glue stick, okay, instead of decoupage. And because your decoupage is on basically plastic, I would still recommend the glue stick, all right? I'm just gonna use the back of this paper as scrapbook to work on. It's, it's waxy, and I'm gonna glue this whole thing, right? I'm going to recommend the glue stick because there's not a ton of water in it. And so it won't make the ink run if you're using inkjet. If you're using laser, you can do whatever you like. But I like the easiest route. I want to get the job done. I don't want to don't want to be like hung up on, "Oh, should I do this or should I do that?" Now, I have that centered at the back. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this sort of on the front. This is going to be the front. Okay. Oh wait, that's not straight. So you have a chance to change it if you've got the glue stick on there. Christmas at the coop. I've got to stand up, guys. <laughs> See this? When I'm sitting down, I haven't got, so I'm just rubbing down the center of it, right? And then I can push out to the sides, and that will help avoid any wrinkling. Push out to the sides. There we go. And I missed a spot there, so back with the glue stick. What did they say? Everything I needed to know about crafting I learned in kindergarten? It's kind of true, right? All right. So, so now there we have that. All right. Is that not adorable so far, right? But wait, there's more. I'm gonna pull this off. This is where it's gonna get really interesting. I've got my uh, X-Acto knife, right? I'm gonna cut a big X right through everything. And about, see, did you see it cut right through? That's what I want, I want an X. There we go. See that? Anybody know where I'm going with this now? You're not gonna believe it. Uh, I may have to trim that a little bit. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. So, so she cut a big X right through everything that she just did, right? There we go. Here's where it begins to get fun, all right? This is what I, I don't know, I did this a long time ago. I have a big roll of paper towel, all right? I'm gonna take a knife. 
Of course, I'm going to measure it, make sure it's not too tall, right? And I'm going to take my knife. Let's see. There, so I want to go a little bit lower. I am going to cut all the way through that paper towel. So, plastic and everything. electric knife for this kind of thing. Ha! There we go. Okay? Right through. Now they're not quite even because I am using this to measure. So put that aside for now. Alright. I can just pull that off. I don't need that anymore. Now I want that to go in there, right? I want that to go in there but it's not going to fit. It's too big. I got the giant jumbo size monster roll. What I'm going to do is take, reach in here, and I'm going to, hello Andrea, I'm going to grab that, what do you call it, cardboard. All right. And play with it and wiggle it. Pinch it together, whatever you have to do. Oh, sure. Worked really easy on the other one. There we go. Pull that in. <laughs> it, some of them are easier than others, okay? That one was a little harder, but it still worked. Like Now we have no cardboard in there, okay? Choice. All right, so I should be able to squeeze this in there now. If you're a smaller thing of paper towel, you'll be okay. All right. See that? Now, where I pulled out the paper, I pulled out the cardboard. Check it out. Pull it up. Look. You're going to be able to just pull out a strip. Now, I'm going to put this through here. And there we have it. It's a paper towel holder for your kitchen or your bathroom or wherever. And you don't have that ginormous piece of paper towel or thing of paper towel sitting on your kitchen counter looking all ugly. <laughs> but what do you think? Is that not kind of cute, right? Is that not kind of cool? So there's, let's see, bounty. <laughs> so you can take your coffee can, right? And you can make one of these. I love it. I think it turned out really cute. And here's the top. There's why I cut the X in it, right? Um, so you can, like I said, I'm going to put this on my counter now. And I don't have that big giant paper towel um, dispenser sitting on my counter. And my husband will not use nearly as much paper towel. <laughs> because he'll just pull out half strips, like half, you know. So you just pull it up like this. And like, oh, there we go. I'm good, da, 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 da. And pull another one. I know, isn't that, that is such, um, it's an old idea, right? Oh, let's see, I got an edge coming up here. That's because I need to glue a bit better, right? But again, you're not doing this on Facebook Live, so you can use regular glue and take your time, right? This was the idea I just wanted to show you, like recycling a coffee can, and then um, you could probably even sell these, I would think. I would think you could, yeah, something like this. You can't sell with these on it. That's only for my business member clubs or business club members. Um, these are just for personal use, but you can certainly make one with a printable of your own or one if you're my business club, right? And then you can make yourself a paper towel holder like that. So I'm really pleased with it. I'm going to take the glamour shot, right? There we go. Does it look like a paper towel holder? And then see, I would be proud to have that on my kitchen counter. Rather than, um, rather than the big wad of paper towel. You could do it with antibacterial wipes in it. I've done it with wipes. This needs to be plastic inside, right? I did, um, years ago, I made 
disposable or like you know you pull these out you put uh, um, soap and all that kind of there's a recipe you can get and put in there and then um, let it soak and then you make, you make little wipes to wash your counter and stuff like that like DIY right I've done that I did baby wipes like this years ago when I had babies um, and daycare too when I was running daycare I would make DIY like wipes like this for you know wiping little bottoms right and hands and faces and not with the same one <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm I'm really pleased with this one. I think that's one of my better ideas. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, post them below. I will try and answer them. Um, like I say, if you're in the channel membership and you have questions, you just go ahead and ask. I will be happy to answer them in there. So just post in the Facebook group. Um, I think that's about it for now. So the channel membership, sorry, there's a link below. It's farmhousecraftaholics.com slash craft club. Uh, Etsy membership, Etsy store, if you just want to buy the printables, is etsy.com slash shop slash crafter downloads. All right, guys, that's it for today. I got some errands to run, and now I'm going to go put this on my counter and be really proud of myself and admire my own work. <laughs> Does anybody else do that, or is it just me? <laughs> okay, guys, I love you. Have a great day. Bye for now.